Hurry up, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. This is not a drill. Go, come here. Go potty, quick. I know, a little confusing this morning. Go potty. Look at that bamboo starting to sway. This one's leaned over even more. We are going to go check out the dock down here. Oh my goodness, it's starting to get bad. What's up, buddy? It feels pretty good out here, huh? Boat's all tied down. I need to take the covers off the jet skis. Don't let me forget to do that, boys. But um, yeah, today we've got a hurricane coming. Hurricane Ian is just a few hours away. Bella, this is a big, big day for you. Your first hurricane. How exciting. Do you like death and destruction and darkness? Because that's what we've got coming. Gooby, what do you have? I don't think we have to evacuate here in Orlando. He's got his suitcase ready, though. So welcome back, guys. This episode is going to be all about our experience with Hurricane Ian the next couple of days. As you can see, things are starting to pick up right now. We've got weatherman Coda on the job. So the storm just started hitting the west coast of Florida. It's currently 1 p.m. on Wednesday. This evening and overnight is when we really should start feeling the effects. Coda, did you know that this is the fifth strongest hurricane to ever touch the United States and every single track has it going directly over Orlando. So it's going to be a long, kind of a little bit scary night, but as long as we've got you here to protect us, I think we're going to be okay. As you guys can see, Coop's feeling a, a little bit nervous. He's trying to keep his spirits high. He's trying to smile his way through the pain, but he has been a little bit weird the last like day or so. I think he kind of knew something was coming. Bella's really enjoyed it because she's had some good bird watching. You guys see these crows out here? There's a whole group of them, a murder of crows that has just been circling. Usually they hang out in this tree, but they're just like kind of panicked. I think they all know the storm's coming. So yeah, it's looking like it's gonna be a pretty bad one. We're gonna keep you guys updated. We actually did vlog. I don't believe it. We uploaded to the vlog channel. So if you guys missed that, check that out. That's gonna be more about the storm and, and just kind of our experience as a whole. This video is gonna be more about the pets, what they think of it, that kind of thing. So join us along for the ride and um, we'll see what happens. 1.30 p.m. potty update. We've got our first damage, don't worry. Weatherman Coda is on it. He's got it all sniffed out. We've always had issues with our soffit. It's always the first thing to go. The house is just so tall. So that spot right there came loose. It looks like we're gonna have at least a couple more pieces falling. So, boys, probably isn't the best place to stand. We're feeling a little bit nervous. It's starting to pick up out there. A lot of rain starting to come in. Pool's even getting aggressive from the wind. Coda's thinking maybe not. He likes the wind. Not a fan of the water though. <laughs> Good boy. They're just not quite sure what's going on. I kind of feel bad. Meanwhile, this one is thriving. <laughs> just staring into the abyss. Emotional support slipper. He doesn't really want to play with it. He just wants to like be with it. He's trying, like I said, smiling through the pain. He's trying his hardest to be okay, but he's just a little nervous. I'm up here pre-editing the vlogs and stuff, just kind of getting things ready. And look who came for a visit. Good boy. You know he's nervous when he's coming in here and leaving Chels. Update, we have traded in the slipper for lamb chop. It's getting serious. <laughs> Buddy, it's okay. I promise it's gonna be fine. Come on, we're, we're doing an activity to take your mind off of things. You guys know here on Super Cooper Sunday that cooking is one of our favorite activities to do together as a family. Blueberry. That is massive. Koopy, would you like this? Does that make you feel better? We're making some blueberry, raspberry, and chocolate chip muffins, along with some snacks on the way. Look at these homemade raspberry muffins. They're not for dogs, but dogs can sniff. We're also getting started on some chili, but we seem to have run into an issue. Well, I overestimated how much carrot I would want, and this is already cleaned and sliced, so I don't really know anybody who likes carrot. <laughs> I don't think cats really eat carrots. You can try it if you want, but I don't think you're even gonna... Yeah, cats don't like carrots. What if we got like a... This is gonna be extra special. The boys aren't even getting beef. With that, a little carnivore. Of course you want that. This has to be in the top three sounds you don't want to hear in a hurricane. We have a leak in our roof. It's the same leak that we've dealt with before. Those of you guys who have been around for a while, we had like this big bubble we popped before and water just poured out of it. Thought we had it fixed, completely redid the balcony upstairs. 
did not fix it. Koda, look, we've got a fresh bowl of Hurricane Ian water filling especially for you. Yes, I know, we're so thoughtful. <laughs> She's so spooky. What are you doing? <laughs> it's a beach towel from our house. <laughs> We've always had that towel. So these are our sliders, and you guys know these sliders go all the way to the edge. Now, they have a built-in feature. I'll find it over here. You wanna have these eyelets here so that if you ever spill anything in here, it can drain out. The unfortunate part is when there's a lot of water coming this way, it means that it actually fills up. So we have these down to try to prevent Coda from drinking them. And for whatever reason, she has decided that this is the most obscene, irrational, ridiculous thing we could ever do. I don't know why she's scared of that. I mean, there are, they would smell They smell like, like us. us. Like, there's nothing, oh, weird. She's weird. 6.30 p.m. rain party, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, boys, let's go potty. I don't wanna stand out here in the rain as much as you don't wanna stand out here. Come on, go potty. It's gonna get worse. We're not really gonna be able to go potty. We're so let's- Utilize the pockets we get. Right? Yeah. Gotta take advantage of these little lulls. Look at all of the debris. A lot of this is bamboo. There's also like tufts of grass in the middle of the street. I'm not sure what that's from. So far, so good for the most part. We've had a lot of damage, but we're all doing okay. Nighttime is by far the worst part of these storms. And it's definitely the worst part of this one. Things. Just got taken up a notch. Bella's thriving. There's all kinds of chaos. Coop is absolutely terrified. Coda's over there wondering what the heck's going on. So we showed you we had this leak right here in the ceiling, this one right there. Well, that has now grown. We now have leaks all along this board, all the way over to the love sack. Yes, Coop, we're gonna have to move that here in a second. It's also now coming out of our lights. We've got makeshift buckets at this point. It's, it's leaking out of the corner up there. We had to deconstruct the couch, take the rug off the kitchen. It's just, this is lovely. I don't do well with chaos. Neither does he. Look at him over there. We're struggling. The he, blondes are not doing well. He looks like he thinks that all of this is his fault and he's being punished. He probably does. Koopy, you're a good boy. Um, Look how sad he looks. I promise, buddy, there is nothing that you did, okay? These are just consequences from external circumstances that are not your fault. However, you are gonna have to get up because you've got a giant leak developing above your love sack. 9.30 p.m. post dinner potties. 10 p.m. is when we start to get hurricane force winds. So we're trying to beat it out. Going out into the storm. Come on, Koda, hurry up. Go potty, it's okay. Go potty. Nobody wants to be out here, I agree, boys. It is chaos out here. Well, this is our life now. Just a family of four. I don't even know where Bella is, but uh, on our little half couch. What's crazy is how fast these are filling. Ooh, that's like a nasty yellow. This one over here, that's yellow too, and this one. I mean, this is our biggest bucket and it's halfway full. Biggest thing we wanna do is just stay calm and convince them it's okay. It's, she doesn't even wanna be on the camera. That's it's awesome. okay, buddy. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> So many things in his life are changing right now, and he has no clue why, but it's gonna be okay. This one seems to be okay with it. He's just, just chilling. How are you hanging in there, Squirt? Oh, angry. About normal. That's good. It's dirty water. Good, we're not supposed to drink that water. <laughs> this is like when we have a hose and you shoot it straight up in the air. <laughs> Gooby, Gooby, no, 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 you don't want to drink that water. Come on, gross yellow corroded water. I'm glad you found some happiness, but find it somewhere else. This is not it. Not here, buddy, good boy. <laughs> For those of you guys that watched the vlog, we just had the jet ski fiasco. If you didn't see that, it's worth going to watch. But uh, yeah, they seem to be safe. And we just keep waiting. This, this right now is supposed to be some of the worst and then we get the second worst tomorrow afternoon. 3 a.m. and the whole family is here together. I think we're gonna try to get a little bit of sleep on our little half L. It's not gonna be good, but uh, we've gotta be able to stay close to keep dumping these buckets. We'll see you guys in the morning. It's supposed to be windy and a little bit of rain all day tomorrow. I think a little bit less rain and obviously we'll have daylight to be able to check things out and hopefully get a lay of the land, so. Hope you guys have a good night, and we will see you guys in the morning. 
Good morning. Welcome to the morning peas. So we have, we think it's a communications wire. I don't think it's a power line, but it's very, very close to the ground over there. So we're not walking out past this spot. This has become the designated potty area. Coda's got it down pat. He just went one and two coop. I'm gonna so bad. He can't really figure it out. It's okay, Come buddy, on. Just go potty. Go potty, you're doing great. Good boy, you got it. I think Coda kind of thrives in this weather. He doesn't have to walk more than a couple steps out the door to go potty. He's constantly surrounded by bowls of water. Nothing's expected of him. He's got a much bigger area to lay here in the living room now that the couch and table are gone. I'm not gonna lie, if all of our favorite things weren't being destroyed and house was falling apart. I mean, it'd be, it'd be kind of therapeutic just listening to the wind and the rain. Not this dog though, because he's very nervous. It's actually holding pretty steady right now. It was supposed to die off. I, maybe this is just our eternal status from now on. Like it's just gonna park above us. died off, but you can't really tell because the wind is still so bad. Right. But if the wind would just Stop. It's supposed to, to get kind of bad again this afternoon, and then by this evening it should start cooling off. So it's okay. We'll hope for that. I present a gift to you. Who's yeah. mommy? Good girl. Hi, sis. I think the storm's over for the most part. She really was a very good girl. She came from the storm. That's why. Oh please, she doesn't She's remember that. Dropped off on that stormy night. She's a spoiled little girl. She doesn't remember any of that. I feel like she keeps her cool as long as Coda keeps his cool. Like that's why we take them to the vet together and stuff. Yeah. And he was pretty all right. It was this one. He's feeling good now though. Now that the scary wind noises are gone. You know what I think half the problem was? I think he really wanted to go sleep in our bed. <laughs> It and was so loud it up was there. So loud in there. And the windows were leaking and we had these leaks we had to take care of. So we, we slept on here. Well, we didn't really sleep, but But I think that was one of the bigger issues was that he wanted to be there and we weren't letting him be there. He was out of his element, out of his routine. That's all right, buddy. It's 4 30 PM and we have some fantastic news for you guys. Do you hear the siren? The world is waking back up and the storm is gone. Look at that lake. All calm and beautiful, just like we like her. Even the local wildlife is coming out of their hidey holes, checking things out. Now we're not completely out of the woods yet. We are still gonna get kind of the backside of the storm as it goes by. We're gonna have some gusty winds, maybe a little rain. Nothing like last night though. Like uh, the, the bad part is over. The storm is essentially over. Obviously our job inside is just beginning. There's gonna be a lot of work to be done. However, the storm's over. You know what that means. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Good boys, there's nothing to be scared about. He's still a little nervous. Still a little nervous, but I see that tail wagon. There's nothing to be nervous about, buddy. It's gone. Good boy. What is this, Coda playing with a toy? Okay, well, things have changed since the storm came through. Are you looking for the squeaker? Did you pop it? Oh, we popped the squeaker. Oh, no. That darn hurricane Ian. Oh, he's partying now. He is he is partying now. This the small L couch is just his shape. Good boy. Oh my goodness. I know you've got to be so excited. Coda, honestly, I think I might be most impressed with Coda. Coda was so chill during the storm. I think he had the best behavior. You guys know he's got diabetes insipidus, so he like kind of panics about water. He tends to have accidents in the house. Not a single accident, not a single water freak out. He was just really, really good. He Him and Bella bark. were both good. He didn't bark at anything. He just like, he knew we needed him to vibe. Oh, goodness. Black lightning, that's, I mean, after hurricanes, sometimes you have repercussions. Everyone's just stoked. Oh, there she goes. I really, really wanted to take them out front and run around, but we still have this power line down on the ground. Now we did call the non-emergency line. They came and looked at it and then they drove away. So we're assuming that means it's safe, but we just don't really want to bring the pets outside if there's potentially a hazard here. So we're going to have to settle for an indoor party. I think the goal is Chelsea and I are taking a hot shower. I, I think we earned it shower. after that. So lucky that we get to do that crazy night so we're just gonna kind of get ourselves together we're gonna start working on towel laundry cleaning all of this up just trying to get things somewhat back into place and hopefully by this evening we can enjoy some nice family time and kind of get back to normal a very proper boy beautiful 
And just like that, one small dog got to go to bed in his own bed. He was trying so hard to sleep up here last night, but we just couldn't do it with all the wind and rain and stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We had almost nothing to give tonight and they had even less. Everyone was just tired. We made some leftovers, hung out on the couch, but it's 9.30 and we're all going to bed. I mean, Coop can't even keep his eyes open here. We're gonna take an early evening. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like we said, we vlogged the whole thing. So if you guys wanna go watch that, we'll link that down in the description. But it was kind of fun to get the pet's perspective here as well. We'll see you guys next week on Super Bowl Sunday. Hopefully he's awake by then. We'll see you guys later. Peace out.